she's keeping mum about the sex of her third child, who is due in April, but the Duchess of Cambridge may have been dropping a subtle hint this morning as she arrived in Coventry wearing a bright pink mulberry coat the mother-to-be, 36, wore the coat twice during both her pregnancy with Princess Charlotte, on a visit to the 9-11th's memorial in New York in December 2014, and at the Stephen Lawrence Center in Deptford in March 2015 her final engagement before giving birth. William and Kate arrived by train to spend a day in Coventry celebrating the city's history, people and heritage the royal couple have started their day by visiting the ruins of Coventry Cathedral, destroyed by Second World War bombing, and its modern successor. They will hear about the history of the cathedral before taking part in the Coventry Litany of Reconciliation. The litany is prayed by those inspired by the story of Coventry Cathedral, aimed at healing the wounds of history and building a culture of peace. The Cambridges will meet members of the choir before having a cup of tea with staff and volunteers at the Rising Cafe, a social enterprise aimed at providing work and opportunity for those overcoming drug and alcohol addictions. Today, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will learn about an innovative training centre for nurses, midwives and paramedics when they open the £59 million facility at Coventry University. William and Kate will tour the institution's new science and health building. At the facility students learn to care for a patient at every stage of their medical journey, from paramedics arriving at their house to their stay in hospital, through to their rehabilitation at home. William and Kate will meet students before following the journey of a fictional patient through the various areas of speciality taught at the center, visiting a paramedic ambulance simulator, operating theater, rehabilitation area and adapted living houses. William and Kate will end their day by seeing firsthand the work of the organization Positive Youth Foundation in the city. The foundation works with young people who find themselves living in challenging circumstances, from those excluded from school to others at risk from a range of social issues. At a center the royal couple will meet staff members, volunteers and young people supported by the service, and watch music and boxing workshops.